Hello, my name is Joe Green. I uh, was fortunate enough to go on a mission trip, a short mission trip to Piedras Negras uh, for the weekend towards the end of April. So I went with 32 other folks and uh, from our church and from other churches, and we went to provide some basic medical assistance. We went with some doctors, nurse practitioners, and a dental hygienist. We also had a pharmacy, so we were able to provide them antibiotics if needed, some vitamins, um, allergy pills, things like that. The goal was is to uh, provide some medical uh, and dental assistance to people in a impoverished area of, of Mexico, as well as to uh, give people an opportunity uh, to hear the gospel if they, if they were open to it. Uh, also to pray with them for some basic physical, spiritual needs that they have. Uh, you know, I think it's important that, uh, you know, if we can love one another as God commands us to, then it makes it much easier to love others. And uh, I think our love and our, and our camaraderie that we had with each other was a witness to the people there in Mexico that saw us. And they see something different. And later on, for some folks, we got to share that it was, it was because of Jesus Christ. Um, through the trip, we were able to help about 330 people. One of the great things that we praise God for is that six people gave their lives to Christ. So there's six people that we'll get to see in heaven because of what 33 people were willing to do by aligning with God and, and, and taking part in this mission trip to Piedras Negras. I was talking to one lady who was uh, actually trying to get diapers and milk for her, for her seven. She has seven kids and, and two of them are infants or twins. Um, and uh, she was looking to get diapers and milk and that was gonna be about $20, I think, which is about the same here. Um, and, and she has, she makes a whole lot less than, than the average person here in the U.S. Um, what's interesting about that lady is that uh, she, she was, she's pretty overwhelmed. Her husband left her about two months ago, and here she is in this world trying to live and raise seven kids all on her own. Um, we got to actually pray with this woman, and she actually gave her life to Jesus Christ. We also had another lady through our clinic who uh, found out she had diabetes. And uh, she was she was overwhelmed with the news, and they uh, she asked we we somebody had asked her if she'd like some prayer, and she actually uh, uh, came over, and so we, we got to talk with her, and she also accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. So before she you know she was down, having heard that she has diabetes, uh, she also had great reason and, and joy because now she knows without a shadow of a doubt that she'll be in heaven with Christ because of what Christ Jesus did and her faith she put in him. So for me personally, what God showed me is that if I am willing, he truly is able, that if I will look, if I really want to be used by him, he'll give me an opportunity to do so. I was a gopher and also, I was uh, handing out candy, uh, lollipops, and, and gum, and also got to pray with people, and also got to um, be a part of what God was doing by uh, leading people to Christ. It was, uh, it's an honor and privilege anytime God uses me. And it just amazes me because all I did was just align myself with Him give up some time, and because of that, I get to be a part of seeing three other people in heaven. Words just cannot describe that, that blessing, and not that it's about me, but just being a part of what God is doing, something that's going to last for eternity. That's better than any raise I've gotten. That's better than, than getting a new home. Although getting a new home is nice, it's, it just doesn't compare. I wish I could put better things into words better. That's awesome, it. man. I, we settle for so less, man. And, and when God, when we let God use us, that's when we're truly living.